What's up guys, it is Jay Beebs here and welcome to another episode of the Cambridge United Road to Glory on FIFA 18. Last episode, we went ahead, we got things started. First episode, kind of got things going and we are going in a very good direction. Right now, we would be in the promotion playoffs, which is a very good spot to be in. We've got some good young players coming up through the Youth Academy, Cold, sold a couple of players I wanted to sell, and really things are just going good. And hopefully we can finish out this season going good. So we're going to start things off with a personal award. I won at Manager of the Month in the month of December last year. Pretty big accomplishment. And hopefully this is the first of many Manager of the Months. But we do also have some bad news. Eowyn McGinnis has torn his MCL. He's going to be out for about two months. So he's going to miss... Not that not that big of a chunk, but by the time he's back, he'll probably be it'll be really towards the end of the season, which is when we really need him. Paul Lewis will be going on a short loan move to Yeovil Town. Probably gonna sell him when he comes back next season, but just ha wanted to get him out this year. So in the FA Cup, I normally play all the FA Cup games. However, when we are drawn against Burnley, I did not play it because. They beat us 3-1, to one, and honestly, we're not at all good enough to even put up a fight in this game, so that is why I did not play it. So we have some more bad news. Gary Deegan has torn his hamstring, and he is going to be out for six weeks. So our midfield is pretty dissipated right now. So it's going to be interesting to see what I have to do to move all these players around. But to help that midfield will be Patrick Hill the English defensive mid, 66 overall, 79 to 85 potential, just turned 16. He's going up to the first team, and he's an automatic and instant starter. Sam Wright is also joining the first team, English right back, 60 overall, 75 to 93 potential, 6 foot 1, definitely can play that right back spot, might even push him inside to play center back. Marcus Morris is also joining the club, the 6 foot left footed center back from England. 60 overall, 73 to 85 potential. This is a temporary solution. Pro eventually, he will be replaced, but for, right, for now, at least, let's get him starting. Bradley Martin is also joining the first team. 5 foot 10 center back, so he's, he's definitely going to be playing that right back position. Five, 55 overall, 81 to 87 potential. So he's guaranteed to be a very good player. It's just, I just don't know how quickly that's going to happen. So I don't know what happened, but I, so in the league, we made it to the playoffs. We were facing off against Wickham. We won the first leg 1-0. We won the second leg 2-0. So I don't know what happened. I just, I guess I just forgot to get the stuff, but we made it to the playoffs and we beat Wickham in the first round. But joining the Youth Academy after that game will be Harvey Bell, 6'1", English striker, 58 overall, 78 to 94 potential. Should will be a very key player for us. And now we're at the League 2 playoff final. Again, I don't know what happened, but regardless, we are here and we're in the big moment at Wembley. And this is the team playing the 4-3-3. Ford's in goal, Morris and Taft, center backs, Wright, Carroll, outside backs, Hill's the defensive mid, Brown and McGinnis, center mids, Byrne and Amu on the wings, and Ike Piazzu is the leading man. Lincoln City are playing a 4-3-3 attack, so our formations pretty much match up perfectly. So this is going to be a issue of winning individual matchups, and I think that we should win those matchups. Here are the highlights. Back up for him in this position. Here's a chance. Big moment in the final. The first goal. Of course, the celebration that big. Understanding with their passing. Deflected and in. Yeah, it's a bit unlucky from the defender's point of view, but the lad took a chance. Opportunity now. Well, there's a twist of the tail here. They've cut the 
the deficit in half. We were, in fact, able to pull off the win. 3-2 to two victory. Not going to lie, they, they put up a little bit of a fight, but, I mean, we just played so well that game. It was, without a doubt, going to be our win. And there are the boys with the trophy as Cambridge United are League 2 playoff champions. Well deserved, and that means that next season we're going up a division. League 1 will be ours next. So here's the table. We ended up finishing in 5th. We didn't... We, I'm pretty sure we were fifth at the midpoint of the season as well, so nothing really changed. We just kind of held our own, did well. We're not close to automatic, but it doesn't matter because promotion is promotion. So, uh, Piazza and Amu appeared in just about every single game this season. Ford also appeared in 56, and then it just kind of drops off a little bit after that. Amu was our leading goal scorer with 20 goals. Ike Piazza had 15. Giovanni Brown had 13, and Byrne had 7 in 19 games. Keep an eye on him. He should be very good. Amu also led the team with assists. He had 17. Ike Piazza had 7. Kor, Ibrahe, Byrne, and Brown had 3. So Amu was obviously by far our best player. I mean, leading goal scorer and had the most assists. Definitely want to keep him around. So looking at our overalls, Burns overall went up by 7 this season. Ike Piazzu and Brown's up by 4. Halliday, Foy, and McGinnis up by 3. So, we're, again, we have a very young team, so these numbers should just keep improving and improving. Right, looking at our most valuable players now, it's actually actually Patrick Hill, the defensive mid, at $1.3 million. Ike Piazzu is at, valued at $1.1 million, And Burn is valued at $1 million. So, yeah, I mean, one season in, no, I mean, not, not much, not, nothing really big happened, but we have played 61 games, won 29, drew 14, lost 18. We scored 95 goals while only allowing 73. So, yeah, guys, that is going to conclude this episode. I mean, it was a pretty good one, not going to lie. Got promoted. That's obviously the end goal. Got a couple of good Youth Academy players. Hopefully, they're coming up next season. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to invest more in the Youth Academy. I don't know if I'm going to buy more players. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to just kind of see what happens next. But no matter what happens, you should watch it. If you have been watching, I thank you so much. It means literally the world. It makes my day. And if I don't get any views, it makes my day horrible. Get a couple of views, it makes my day so much better. But I've also I've done this series, similar type of series on FIFA 16 and FIFA 17. Also, I and I'm working on doing it on FIFA 19, 20, 21, and 22. So if you want to check the the ones that are already out in that FIFA 16, 17 Road to Glory, go ahead and click those links and subscribe for the future ones. And it is J Beebs signing off.